Well, and just across the street behind me is Frontier Middle School, which has been set up as a reunification site for students and parents this afternoon. You can see the long line of cars there stretching towards the school because as you can imagine during those scary and chaotic moments that immediately followed the shooting near Graham Kapowson High School, worried parents rushed to the area to check on their kids and not just the kids at the high school, but the kids at Frontier Middle School and Nelson Elementary as well because those two schools sit adjacent to the high school and so all three schools were put on lockdown amid the news that a shooting just off campus resulted in two Graham Kapowson students being shot. Now as we've been reporting the Pierce County Sheriff's Office has the two victims ran back onto campus after being shot. One was found in the parking lot by the football field. The other one was found in the locker room and both have now been taken to area hospitals to be treated for their injuries and within the last Last half hour, as you mentioned, we got an update from Detective Ed Troyer with the Pierce County Sheriff's Office saying that it does look like both victims will survive, but still a lot of conflicting details about exactly what led up to this shooting. Detective Troyer said they've gotten reports of possible gang ties. They've gotten reports of a fight that was planned for this afternoon, and those are tips and leads that detectives are now chasing down. They are also, of course, looking for any information about the suspect. There was a report that a vehicle was seen leaving the school. And again, that's one of many things they are working on at this hour. The good news in all of this is that the sheriff's office says there's no current threat at the school. They are confident that the shooter or shooters have left this area and the school district says they've been assured all students on campus are safe. Again, those reunions between parents or students and students are happening right now here at Frontier Middle School. We will be out here and continue to talk to parents and students as they come out. For now, we are live in Pierce County and we will send it back to you in the studio.